Big bumblebee pollinating. Yeah. But for today's video, um, I want to show y'all the aftermath of me cleaning out this specific garden bed. Um, well, I had a set of red and sweets growing over here. I just pulled those because they're not producing um, melons uh that the types that i were expecting that i was expecting but i did save seed from the melons that i harvested um so right now all i have left is the Al naga g by cucumber variety which was sown on may 19th 2021 um which was about 74 days ago so if we get a close look in here we can see uh some very sparse vines um they have a decent length on them about it's about six, about 12 feet right now at this time of the season uh, about 74 days in they should be about 12 feet long or so um not many not too many vines but they do uh achieve a decent length is that a frog right there oh <laughs> frog under the cucumber where it's nice and cool at. so what i did notice is cucumbers always uh are always nice and cool even when it's hot outside so right now like i feel hot but this cucumber is nice and cool to the touch so i like that about cucumbers it means on a nice hot uh, a nice hot day if you eat a cucumber it'll also help you cool down uh, if we look in here we can see some more mature uh alanaga by cucumbers but i also want to show some of these smaller fruit sets they're always in front front of me when the camera's off, but once the camera's on, I don't see them. Um, but here's um, some mature fruit sets. This one right here, the stem is actually, looks like it's uh, ready to separate pretty soon. The uh, umbilical looks like it's ready to separate pretty soon. Um, as far as ripening, you can just see that this thing is super ripe, uh, ready to save seed from these two and then back here um is a, a slightly skinnier one but it's uh near the same length as these two so this one is definitely ready to to be eaten i'm gonna harvest this one just to try out for uh for uh some cucumber noodles uh for my spaghetti uh for my vegetarian spaghetti so that's a nice size one and i also brought a ruler with me so we can get some idea, an idea of the size, the length of these cucumbers. So this is a 12 inch ruler. So that's about, it's almost a uh, one foot on a on a nose. It's a little bit, a little bit longer than a ruler. Just a tad bit, about half an inch longer. So that's about a foot to a foot and a half. Um, I mean, a foot to a foot and 0.5 inches. So it's a foot long cucumber. I don't know, I got G by it. And I got this variety from uh, Baker Creek. I purchased my seed from Baker Creek. And now I'm gonna have plenty of seed to save, especially from those two. I'm gonna uh, let a couple more go to seed, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I eat some too so I can get my health benefits from these cucumbers, um, these Asian cucumbers. I believe I don't know, I G by uh, is, it's either Chinese or Japanese. I can't recall, but I, I do believe it's a Chinese cucumber variety. I'll put it in the description. Um, I'll put some information about it in the description. You can see right here some cucumber, uh, the, the, the stalks. Uh, let's see, let's get this grass out of there so we can have a clear view. And you can see three stalks coming out of, so out of the soil. So this is where I put a... Uh, I direct sow some of the seeds on May 19th. You see those three stalks right there? One, two, three. And um, I, I put them in uh, different spots of this little grow bag. So this is a 30 gallon grow bag that I cut into one. I cut it uh, into four pieces and this is one of the pieces. So it's about seven and a half gallons now. And I cut the bottom out so that dirt can, uh, the dirt inside the bag can be in contact with the dirt of the ground which basically makes this a raised bed. And that works well in my area because it floods a lot. You can see I have a banana planted next to the cucumbers and they're growing very well. So these uh, these over mature uh, cucumbers are a little bit over a foot. 
So this is a foot uh, starting right there. Even this one is over a foot. And this is the smaller one. This is the larger one. So they, they can achieve some excellent lengths. Um, and here's a smaller one right here also. And this one is just under a foot, it looks like. Yep. This one is just under a foot. Let's get that leaf out of the way. You can see that. So this one is still growing. So definitely you wanna let you wanna let this variety uh, achieve a foot in length. And that's also when it'll start expanding a little more, which gives you more meat inside that cucumber. Um, and I just wanna walk around and show a couple of the uh the female blooms. At first, I didn't realize uh, that there were fruits on these plants until today. So this whole time, every time I came out here, I was like, where's my cucumbers? I'm seeing watermelons. I'm seeing muskmelons. I wasn't seeing cucumbers. But here you can see some uh, female blooms. Um, the end portions have already fallen off. The uh, bloom portion has fallen off. So these uh, will most likely set fruit pretty soon if they haven't set fruit. Um, this one definitely is starting to swell. You can see the, that it's starting to expand and get wider, especially wider than that one. Um, let's just walk around and see what we can find. I know there was a few Aonaga Jibai uh, flowers that I saw today right here. And today is my first time actually seeing any flowers on this variety. I was, uh, I was, I was actually... Um, a little bit scared because I didn't think I would uh, be able to to get some uh, ripe. Uh, I, would, I didn't think I'd be able to get any type of cucumber from this plant because it didn't look like it was producing uh, female blooms. But uh, to my amazement, it's actually producing lots of female blooms in there, and they all seem to be setting fruit. So here's one that's from yesterday. And you can see that bloom is closed. It's either from yesterday or two days ago. And that one's uh, expanding, so it's starting to swell and whatnot. So they're, they're in here. They're scattered in here. I, uh, I saw more than that as I was cleaning out the vines or cleaning out the garden beds. I saw more than that. So that's what we have going on. That's the Aonaga Jibai cucumber variety. Can easily grow to a foot long or longer. Um, it's very prickly. The plants are prickly, the vines themselves are prickly, so you can actually use this to protect um, certain garden patches just by uh, planting a lot of these vines in one area. They, uh, I doubt animals uh, would, would like to come like to come in contact with that uh, too often. Yep, so let's do a harvest. Since we're already over here. Uh, I believe this is a ripe cucumber. There's only a little bit of green left in there, but I believe those seeds in there are ripe. So I'm gonna just pick this one. And looking at the tendril, I can see the tendril on this one that I believe is ready to eat, this long green one. Um, you can see that's still very green, that tendril there. Um, the tendril on this on this yellow, this largest yellow one is uh, still green. But the tendril on this uh, slightly smaller yellow one is uh, brown. So that may, it, that may be uh, a good sign to know when your uh, cucumber seeds are ripe. Here's a, looks, what looks to be a pest. I've been having something, um, some things eating at the leaves and whatnot. So that's really the only pest issues I've been having where uh, some, something was just eating at the leaves. And that, that also is what made me come out to clean out the garden beds. Here uh, was a caterpillar eating at the leaves. I saw it, it was a big green caterpillar. I'm not sure what kind it was, but that's his droppings right there. Other than that though, the foil the foliage is good. Let's get some let's get this cucumber out of here. Alright. So that's one harvested cucumber. Um and I'm gonna uh, harvest this green one. Or, no, I'm going to wait for that green one. Um, I'm going to go do some grocery shopping. And uh, I'm going to go buy, buy me some tomatoes so I can make some tomato sauce from. 
and uh, make me some spaghetti from scratch. But this is a, a mature um, cucumber. Very long. You see that's, that's up to my elbow. <laughs> it's from my uh, fingers to my elbow. So that's, that's a long cucumber. All right, y'all. Show you how these leaves look, and then we're gonna call it a wrap on this video. So it's some very beautiful foliage. Um, when they're when it's not attacked, has a uh, very beautiful foliage. So all the new growth is very good. It just wants the uh, insects or bugs start getting to it. Uh, you can have some skeletonized leaves, and make them look like uh, skeletons. Other than that, though, the plants are thriving. Haven't had any issues with the cucumbers. I didn't notice any blossoming right or anything. So, see y'all in the next one. You know what? Let's harvest that green cucumber. Get another. Put some energy into more cucumbers. G by heirloom cucumber from China, I believe. Check the description for, for the correct information. That one's over a foot long, it just has a curve in it.